All right, in this video here, we're going to look at this detailed view of our spline, of this tooth mark here on that spline. So focusing on this area right here. So back here on AutoCAD, um, I'm first off going to start by, I'm going to delete these here. Um, so I'm going to create center marks on these different layers here. I'm going to show you how to do this here. Um, on the center marks here, we're going to be on our center marks layer. So up here, you have two different layers. You have a center and a center mark. So let's make sure we're on the center marks for this. Um, this will make more sense here in a moment. Then I'm going to go to annotate. Okay, on annotate here, I want to go to center mark. And then I want to make sure that I want to center mark this here. And I want to center mark this. So four different circles, number three, and then four over here. So the big circles on there. Then I can escape to close that command. Now I'm going to go over to my layout view or to my paper space here. So where I'm going to be printing from. And I want to create a circle up here. So I'm going to go to home, any size circle, but roughly you can see roughly about this size right there. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding this detailed view that you see on this drawing right here. So that little detailed view. So on here, now I can uh, click on this here. I'm going to go up to layout up top here, layout, and then over on the left side of your screen, uh, under layout viewports, I want to focus in on object. Yours will default, default to rectangular. I want to go to object here, then specify corner viewport right here. Now I'm going to double click on this area here. This becomes a new viewport. Now I can zoom in here. And I want to find the spline. Okay, I want to focus in on that spline, on that tooth mark right there. So like center, do your best to center it up. Okay, once you center it up pretty good here, just that top spline there, you're going to come down here. We're going to change this to five to one. Okay, five to one view. Um, and then I can escape out of here. So I can double click here to the side. Then I'm going to come in and I want to double click on this layer. This is going to take me into model space here. Once you're in model space, you can zoom out a bit. I'm going to select this center line here. I'm going to go home. And the reason we're doing this on our center marks right now is so that we can freeze this layer. When I freeze this layer, it's not going to actually plot inside of our design. And layer, layer, layer freeze, layer center marks is current. Do you want to? viewport freeze it yes okay type yes escape out of there notice it disappears here now i can go back to i'm going to just click on model space to close this out go back to my layout view and notice here our center mark disappears then i'm also going to double click on this side here i'll escape out of there let's just click on this side area here and i want to freeze this so i'm going to freeze this up now Boop. Okay, so now I can't move that tooth mark. And then I can escape out of here. And one last thing I want to do here, click on that. And I want to click on Viewport, VP. And once it's on our Viewport layer, this will not plot. So that circle going around there is not going to plot. So if I want to plot this here, and you can see Preview, what we see here um, is that that circle is gone up there. So there's no circle on that layer there. And don't worry about this here. We'll either fix this here at the end um, or we will not worry about it. But our, our view is getting cut off as you can see right there. All right, so I'll close out of there. And that is the end of this video. We'll talk about dimensioning in our next layer here, our next video.